Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this balaclava. This pattern is made to measure, which means you can adjust the height here and the depth here. To make it easier, I'm going to be giving you guys the measurements instead of how many stitches or how many rows I've done. Because if I give you guys the measurements, you can use another weight yarn and the hook that yarn calls for. You don't have to use the same yarn I'm using, which is this one. Um, I actually got this yarn from like a scrap yarn section from my local yarn store. So it didn't come with label. I don't know what weight it is, but I'm gonna say it's about 10 ply. And from my personal experience, for this yarn, I decided to use a 5mm crochet hook. And that's why I'm going to be giving you guys the measurements so that you can use a different weight yarn. And when you use that yarn, be sure to read the label and use the hook that your yarn calls for. So before I started the project, I actually made a swatch and it looks like this. This is actually the back side of the balaclava here. So I did this just to figure out this pattern here. As you can see, the back side of the balaclava is curved instead of being a right angle. This balaclava is made of two panels. What you're seeing right now is one panel. So for the panel, I actually started from the back here this is the beginning chain, which means we're going to begin from the back here. This is the beginning chain. And then we're going to work back and forth in rows like that, increasing here until it reaches this height from the top of your head to the bottom. And then we work back and forth normally without increasing, as you can see here. This is flat. So the first thing I did here was figure out the distance between this and that. So zero here, as you can see, is at the top of my head. And I want my balaclava to be around here. And that's about 14 inches, which is around 36 centimeters. So once I figured out the distance here, the beginning chain is actually two inches shorter than that. Uh, the two inches difference is just because of how I did this pattern here. So if I want this distance to be 14 inches, my beginning chain should be 12 inches, which is 14 minus two. So to begin the chain, I'm going to make a slip knot, grab this yarn and pull it like that. And then we have a slip knot, insert your hook, and I'm going to make a chain of 12 inches. By the way, 12 inches is about 30 centimeters. So to make a chain, you just yarn over and pull it through the loop on your hook. That's chain one, chain two, chain three, So I'm just going to keep chaining until I reach 12 inches. I don't know how many chains I need yet. If you have a different weight yarn, meaning a different thickness, the chain numbers you need to make might not be the same as mine, which is okay. You just need to make sure your chain is 12 inches. So with this yarn, this is 40 chains and it reaches 12 inches. And then after that, I'm going to chain one. In the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a double crochet first. If you know me, I make my first double crochet differently. So instead of a chain three, I'm gonna make two stacked single crochets, which means I need to make a single crochet first in that chain. But instead of inserting in the back loop, I'm going to insert in the back bump. Because if I insert in the back loop, um, we're gonna have a big hole here. This edge will just look better if we insert in the back bump. And the back bump, if you turn your chain like that, it's that thing. The second chain from the hook, turn your chain, find the back bump, and insert your hook, make a single crochet. So yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, pull through two. And then that's the first single crochet. I'm going to make a second single crochet in the left vertical loop.
So insert your hook in that loop, yarn over, pull yarn through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that was two single crochets, and they make up the very first double crochet. I'm going to put a stitch marker in it. So like that. Just in the top two loops. And then I'm going to start this row with an increase on this end, not on the other. In the very first stitch, we already made a double crochet. I'm going to make two more normal double crochets in the same stitch. To make a normal double crochet yarn over, and then we're going to insert in the same stitch here. This is the very first stitch. So insert your hook. Yarn over, pull yarn up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two again. That's one normal double crochet. I'm gonna do it one more time in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the very same stitch. Yarn over, pull yarn up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's it. That's three double crochets in one stitch. We just finished the increase. And then from the back loop of the next stitch, we're going to make one double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next back bump. Yarn over, pull yarn up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue doing that, yarn over, insert your hook in the next back bump. And make a double crochet. So I'm just going to keep doing this, working one double crochet in the back bump of each stitch until I reach the end of the chain. Okay, so I'm near the end of the row. As you can see, that's my last chain. That's its back bump. I need to make one more um, double crochet in it. So just insert in the back bump, make the last double crochet, and that's it. On this side, we won't be increasing. So when you reach the side with a yarn tail, you just turn your work. We're going to directly start the next row in that direction. And when we reach this end, we're going to increase again. So again, we're going to start with that special double crochet, which is two single crochets. Also, from this row, we're going to insert in the back loop only. So that's the first stitch, as you can see. And that's the back loop. We're going to insert in the back loop like that. And yarn over, pull it up, make the first single crochet. And then insert in the left vertical loop make another single crochet. Again, mark this very first stitch. I'm going to put my stitch marker in the top two loops here. And like I said, at this end, no increase. So we're going to move on to the next stitch. In the next stitch back loop, make a normal double crochet, so yarn over. Insert your hook, pull yarn up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. At this end with the tail, we're always going to do this. Um, no increase, just one double crochet in each stitch. So we move on to the next stitch, back loop, double crochet, one double crochet in it. 
I'm going to continue working like this. So I'm near the end of the row. The marked stitch should be the last stitch we work into. So one more double crochet in that stitch. In the very last stitch that is marked, I'm going to work three double crochets. Um, so here I'm going to make a big change. If I, if I work all three double crochets in the back loop, it's going to pull the yarn like that and leave a hole there. So for this very last stitch, instead of working in the back loop only, I'm going to insert in both loops. And this is just to avoid that hole. So insert in both loops, work the first double crochet. And then I'm going to do two more here because I need to increase on this end. So go ahead and work two more double crochet in the same stitch. And then one last one. Okay. So that's the first two rows. From the next row, I'm going to change the pattern a little bit. Instead of working three double crochets, I'm going to work two. So turn your work. I'm going to work that special double crochet in the very first stitch. So that's the very first stitch. Insert in the back loop and make a single crochet first. And then in the left vertical loop, make a second single crochet. So that's the first double crochet. You can take out this stitch marker and place it in the new first stitch. And I'm going to work a normal double crochet in the same stitch. I think I'm going to insert in both loops because when you work multiple stitches instead of one, I pull this yarn a bit more and then it will create an unwanted space. So for the first stitch, I'm going to work in both loops as well. Because I know I'm going to work multiple stitches, more than one in this stitch, and that's why I'm inserting in both loops. So make that single crochet and then in the left vertical loop, another single crochet. Now I'm going to mark that stitch. And then in the same stitch, both loops again, I'm going to make a normal double crochet. And that's it. That's the increase. Two stitches in one stitch. And then from the next stitch, I'm going to insert in the back loop only. Yarn over, insert in the back loop, and start working that normal double crochet. Continue doing that to the end of the row. And like I said before, we are at this end with a yarn tail. So I'm just going to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to this um, last stitch that is marked. Um, I'm going to insert in this back loop because I'm not working multiple stitches in this loop. So I can work it in the back loop. But if you want, you can still work in both loops. So like that. And then I'm going to begin row four. I'm going to start with the special double crochet, so one single crochet, so that's the special double crochet, and then I'm going to move on to the next stitch, insert in the back loop and work a normal double crochet. And then I'm going to continue working in the back loop only. Make one double crochet in each stitch until I reach the other end. So I reached this end. Now I have this last um, stitch that is marked. And on this end, I'm going to increase as you can see. I need to increase on this end. This end don't need to increase. So I know I'm going to increase. 
I'm going to work two stitches in the last stitch. And that's why I'm going to insert in both loops instead of the back loop only to avoid creating a hole. So in this last marked stitch, I'm going to insert in both loops and make a double crochet. And then in the same stitch, I'm going to make one more. So two double crochets in that stitch. And that's it. Now, I have four rows here. On this end, I increase by working multiple um, double crochets in the very first stitch. And this end, just one double crochet in each stitch. And the increase pattern, for the first two rows, I worked three double crochets. Row three and four, I worked two double crochets. Now, I'm going to work two more rows following this pattern, meaning on this end, I'm going to work two double crochets in the very first stitch, and that end, one double crochet in each stitch, which means row five, I'm going to turn, and because in this very first stitch, I'm going to work two stitches, so I'm going to insert in both loops. Work a special double crochet, and then one more normal double crochet in the same stitch. And then one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch. Back loop only. So one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch to the end of the row. Um, I forgot to mark this stitch, but it's this one. If you pull it, you can see that's one stitch, that's one, that's one. So the first stitch is here in these top two loops. So work one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way here. One double crochet back loop, one double crochet back loop in this very last stitch that is marked. And then you turn your work, do this row again. So you work a special double crochet in the back loop of the very first stitch, mark that stitch, and then move on to the next stitch. One double crochet in the back loop of each stitch. You work your way back in that direction. So I'm at the end of row one, two, three, four, five, six. In the very last stitch, I'm going to work in both loops again, two double crochets. And the increase is going to stop from the next row, which means including this end, I'm going to work one double crochet in each stitch. No increase anymore from row seven. So turn your work. This is the beginning of row seven. I'm going to start from the very first stitch, insert in the back loop only, and make that special double crochet. And then from the next stitch, insert in the back loop, work a normal double crochet. And continue working like that. End of the row, one double crochet in the last stitch, which is marked, back loop only. And then you turn again, repeat the same row here. So just one row repeat. So yeah, from the next row, that's what I'm going to do. Um, from the very first stitch to the very last one, which is marked, I'm going to work one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch. And I'm going to work back and forth like that, just continue working like that until this is thick enough um, to fit my head. So after the first six increase rows, I did 10 more plain rows. So the whole thing measures about nine inches, which is about 23 centimeters. And this is the depth of the balaclava. After you finish the last stitch, you're going to chain one Cut this yarn and pull it through. 
Then you're going to repeat the same thing, make a second panel. So the first panel you cut like that. The second panel, you're just going to finish your last stitch and then pull your yarn like that because we're going to use this yarn to sew up the seam. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew them up. I'm gonna start from here and go along this edge like that. And if I sew them up from this side, that means the other side is gonna be the right side. So I'm just gonna sew them row to row. You'll notice the ribs don't line up, that's normal. So that row to that, that to that, that to that. So I'm gonna work two slip stitches for every double crochet row. So two slip stitches and two here. I'm gonna start from the very first, very last stitch actually. Insert in that stitch. Um, so I can pull this loop through like that and then I'm gonna chain one to attach them together so two slip stitches here I'm just gonna insert in the very edge of the stitch and then I'm gonna insert in the edge on this side as well I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through all the loops on my hook including that one as well so that's a slip stitch one more slip stitch here and on this side as well yarn over pull through all to make a slip stitch so that's two slip stitches for one row. Um, I'm gonna work two more here for the next row. Like this. And the other side. Slip stitch. The fourth one. And on this side. slip stitch so I'm going to continue working like that two slip stitches for each double crochet row the same for this curved part yet two slip stitches two 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 like that I'll see you here like that and then I'm gonna start um, joining these stitches now I can see I've got three stitches here and three stitches there in one stitch. So I'm gonna work in that one stitch. On this side, I'm gonna insert in there. And that side there as well. That's actually the bottom of the three increase stitches that we did. So I'm going to slip stitch and then from the very next stitch, as you can see, I have the top two loops here, top two loops there. On this side, I'm going to insert in both loops. So I'm going to find the next stitch, that, insert in the top two loops like that. And on this edge, I'm always going to insert in the back loop only. So find that matching stitch here. I'm going to insert in the back loop only, like that, and slip stitch. And I'm just going to continue doing that. Next stitch, top two loops, next stitch on this side, back loop only, slip stitch. I'm going to keep doing this until I reach the end of the row. That is my last stitch. And I'm going to find a back loop in there. And slip stitch, chain one. I'm going to fasten off here.
like that. I'm going to tie these together. Later I can weave this in um, the stitches on the wrong side. So this is going to be the wrong side. Let me turn it over. That's the right side of the seam. So now we need to close this at the front and leave a hole for the face. Now I'm going to put this on and here I can see how many stitches at the bottom I need to sew up. So I think this is good. I'm going to see how many stitches I have here. So I'm going to sew up the 12 stitches at the bottom here. And when you sew it up, don't forget to turn it to the wrong side because we're going to do the joining from the wrong side. So this is the wrong side. I joined my stitches from this side. Now I'm going to make a slip knot first and insert my hook in the first stitch of both edges. So just the top two loops here and then the first stitch on this edge and then grab the slip knot, pull it through, chain one. So that was the first stitches joined together. Now from the second stitch, whenever I insert on this edge, I'm going to insert in the front loop only. And then, and then the second stitch here, I'm going to insert in both loops. And then I'm going to make a slip knot. So next stitch, front loop only, both loops, and then slip stitch. This is one, two, three, four. Five. After number 12, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do one round, um, maybe two rounds. I'll have to see. But I'm going to do one round first around this front opening. But this is the wrong side. So I'm going to turn it over. Because uh, I want to do that round from the right side. Um, so that stitch is joined with the other side. That's going to be my first stitch. The first stitch I'm going to work into. In that stitch, I'm going to make the very first special double crochet. But I'm going to insert in both loops here. And make that special double crochet. So for this round, I'm just going to insert in both loops. I'm not going to work in the back loop only. And from the next stitch, I'm going to work normal double crochet, but in both loops. So I'm going to work one double crochet in each stitch, like that. And at the seam here, I actually have two stitches. They're just being sold together. So I'm going to work one double crochet in each of them. So here I have two stitches left. That one is um, joined with the other side. So I've got two stitches. One and two. Then I'm going to join in the round with the very first stitch that is marked. Actually, I'm going to work one more here just to fill in this gap. Like that. So one last double crochet. And then I'm going to join in the round with the first stitch, inserting in the top two loops of the first stitch like that and slip stitch chain one um, I'm going to take out this hook and I'm going to put it on and see if I want to do one more round 
So I actually thought that was good. So I'm just gonna stop there. I'm gonna cut this yarn and pull this yarn through like that. I'm also going to make a chain that will go through the stitches at the front of the opening. So you make a slip knot again, um, insert your hook in this slip knot and start chaining. And I'm going to make my chain about 30 inches, which is about 76 centimeters. So it looks something like this. And then I'm going to chain one, pull tight, cut this yarn, and pull it through. That's it, that's my chain. For this one, um, you can use a yarn needle or a hook, but basically, um, this thing is going to go through the stitches. So from the bottom here, go in and come out. So in front of the next stitch, behind the next. So just in and out like that. And I can also do this with a hook. Or with just my hands. And the final result looks like this. I'm gonna cut off these yarns. And also don't forget to weave in these yarn tails as well on the wrong side. So for this one, I'm just gonna let it go through the stitches um, like this like the seam on the wrong side, just like that. And then I'm just going to cut it. So I'm going to do the same thing for this tail, this one, and these. And when you finish all that, this balaclava is done.